Exclusive pictures. Police question Danny Nikolic over the murder of Les Samba. Tough new laws to crack down on alcohol fueled violence. Cabbies demand a major overhaul to clean up their industry. And the elderly couple fined for advertising a garage sale. This is Nine News with Peter Hitchener. Good evening. A new twist in the puzzling murder of Australian racing identity Les Samba with high-profile jockey Danny Nikolic questioned by police. Brendan Roberts was there as Nikolic arrived to meet homicide detectives. Jockey Danny Nikolic arrives to meet with homicide detectives after Sunday night's murder of his former father-in-law, racing identity Les Samba. It's been raining money today because of a maintenance glitch affecting Commonwealth Bank ATMs. Some machines have been dishing out thousands of dollars to customers even though they don't have it in their accounts. Chris White is at Meadow Heights. Chris, take us through what's happened. Well, Pete, Commonwealth Bank customers have been literally cashing in. After a routine maintenance upgrade last night, the ATM network had a glitch in it which was allowing the ATMs to dispense cash for free. An elderly Ballarat couple is paying a heavy price for a humble garage sale. They've been fined and threatened with more than $300 in penalties by their council for putting up signs advertising the event. As Vicky Jardim reports, all they wanted to do was raise money to pay the bills. And there's quite a few with times tough on a pension, Rose and Roger Young decided to hold a garage sale. Crickets invading Albury have claimed a major scalp, forcing the local Meyer department store to close its doors. The complex was overrun by thousands of the insects overnight. The building was fumigated but was forced to, sh uh, to stay shut for the day and it's still unclear when it'll reopen. Other shop owners are also being driven crazy by the crickets. Maya, just one of many businesses that closed today. When we return, Gaddafi laughs off calls to go. And the air show powers up. Sports next with Tony Jones. Thanks, Pete. Good evening. Coming up after the break, Fev officially puts his hand up. In other footy news, another setback for a giant Rue, but could it open the door for this man? Also tonight, opening up, a gay cricketer tells of his torment. Big falls, trapped feet. We expose the real dangers of riding an escalator. A blow for North Melbourne with injury-prone ruckman Hamish McIntosh set to undergo surgery to correct a recurring Achilles problem. But as Clint Stanaway tells us, the setback could pave the way for Marjac Dorr to be elevated to the senior list. Big and that's sport for tonight, Pete. See you tomorrow. Righto, thanks, Tony. And still to come, Lavinia Nixon with the weather. And a burst of sunshine tomorrow, Pete. I'll have all the details next. So there are some good days to look forward to, Pete. Good to hear. Thank you, Lavinia. And that's the news for, on this uh, special day for us with the broadcast of our first bulletin from our new home here at Docklands. Enjoy your evening and good night.